Hi, welcome everyone. This is Christina Saikia and um, thank you so much for being part of my show. Uh, this podcast that is known as I am a billion dollar star. Today's topic is why startup companies or established companies at times fail to get the funds from the investors. The most uh, important part is you have to invest on a good pitch presentation. A lot of people, they don't do it. They just put it randomly. So your pitch presentation, it's not only a presentation, but also a story to be told with a long term vision that has an influencing narrator. Now, a pitch is a storytelling art and you have to win artists to uh intrigue the reptilian brain of the investors which helps them to take decision at times impulsively as the brain stimulates with visuals emotions triggered colors sound imagination fantasies etc besides the practical authentic analysis and maths involved now try to use certain nlp words like uh, for example you need finances a um, certain amount of figure the word now put the emphasis on the word now now you have to show a future a future vision um, about your business so use words like imagine now i'll tell you certain uh, uh, unconventional reasons why investors might reject an investment pitch misalignment with investors personal values this point is very important sometimes an investor might reject a pitch because the project doesn't align with their personal ethics or values even if it's financially sound now the second uh, reason is overly ambitious claims if your pitch includes grandiose claims or seems too good to be true without a solid inv- evidence investors might be skeptical thinking it's more hype than substance another reason is lack of emotional connection investors might look for a personal or emotional connection to the project if they don't feel a personal stack or passion they might be less inclined to invest unconventional business models uh, if if your business model is too unconventional or hard to understand investors might hesitate due to uncertainty about its viability or scalability now and one of the most uh, important reason is fear of disruption some investors might shy away if your idea is too disruptive to the existing market or industry fearing it might be too risky or face significant resistance i'll go to the next point overuse of buzzwords be careful with that heavy reliance on trendy buzzwords or jargon without clear explanations can alienate investors who prefer straightforward practical details the next point is why your pitch presentation can be rejected by the investors unresolved personal issues yes you heard me right if there are personal conflicts or unresolved issues within the founding team investors might be concerned about how this could in- affect the business the next reason is unconventional marketing strategies yes you heard it right an unconventional or unproven marketing strategies might raise unconcerns uh, sorry Uh, might raise concerns about your ability to effectively reach and convert customers so you need to be careful in this you know marketing is very important i feel a lot of people when uh, you know even in films i have seen some producers do, they don't pay attention too much in the campaigning branding and the marketing of the film or any product i'll say they are more focus on the product the making of the product but 
I suggest that start your marketing from the beginning, from day one. You, uh, you know, you thought about it. Your uh, whatever preparations you are doing, it is getting ready. Make sure to bring it out to the people. Another important uh, reason can be over emphasis on technology. If your pitch overly focuses on technology or product itself rather than the market need and customer benefits, investors might feel it lacks a practical application. So you have to take care of this point. Now, one of the unconventional reason why your pitch can be rejected by investors is also cultural fit. The fit or the team's style might not fit with the investor's culture or their typical portfolio, leading them to pass on the opportunity. The next point is lack of a clear exit strategy. You have to be very careful with this. I always tell um, startup companies or people who actually want more funds and making a great pitch uh, include this lack of a clear exit strategy yes you heard it heard it right investors need to know how they ev eventually get a return on their investment without a clear exit strategy they might be reluctant to invest overvaluation you heard it right overvaluation one of the reason again to get your your pitch presentation to get rejected is if your valuation seems too com high compared to your current stage energy performance investors might vary make sure your valuation is justified and realistic okay so uh, in this case you have to pay attention to uh, whatever your net profit yearly uh, has to somehow like uh, approximately match the valuation you're giving uh, in your pitch that how much is in your capacity to earn approximately I mean don't give unrealistic uh, valuation poor team dynamics very important when I ask about the team the strength and the experience of your team are crucial investors want to see a capable motivated team with relevant skills a weak or inexperienced team can be a deal breaker. Unrealistic financial projection, overly optimistic or unrealistic financial forecast can undermine credibility. In the investors want to see well researched, achievable projections. So you need to take care of it. Um, I would say that don't make a pitch presentation where it looks overly ambitious overconfidence you know it sounds very narcissistic in that case so uh, don't put any unrealistic financial forecast it's very important even in terms of team you have to only have team uh, like members in the team i mean who are important just don't put somebody's your lover somebody's your husband or wife or friend or colleague you know you know, you should know why that person is there in that project and what is the main role they are playing. Inadequate business model. Yes, you heard it right. This is another one. Your business model should clearly outline how you plan to make money and sustain growth. If it's vague or unconvincing, it can lead to rejection. So these are the main points why your uh, investment pitch can get rejected. And I always suggest that when you make the pitch, make sure you make good, uh, you know, like a video, you can say a good presentation video. Invest on that. Shoot it, whatever you can get a good editor now ai is there you can create a future vision how uh, your uh, your entire goal would look like uh, maybe after three years how it look like so you can create it uh, through ai apps there are many apps 
सो इन्वेस्टिंग इन विजुअल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेक द पी डी एफ प्रेजेंटेशन लुक वेरी ब्यूटिफुल बट एट द सेम टाइम कीप इट स्टाइलिश एलिगेंट एंड नॉट ओवरली एम्बिशियस यू नो ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट डोंट पुट ऑल दिस एंड डोंट मेक टू मच ऑफ स्लाइड्स नो बडी रीड्स डैट मेक ओनली स्लाइड्स हाउ मच इट इज रिक्वायर्ड मेक इट वेरी क्लियर वेरी ब्रीफ पॉइंटर्स एंड इट विल वर्क एंड Uh, make a poster also if you can uh, about whatever uh, industry you you are. Suppose you are in the textile industry. Make a poster of it. How does it look? Make a good video about uh, the product. Uh, hire a team who can actually shoot a video for you, uh, uh, for the investor, to see it. to experience it to feel it it's very important so that's all for today and i hope you are enjoying dan nanan's book accidentally funny and uh, i'm coming up with more interviews with lot of investors uh, and a uh, lot of entrepreneurs uh, business magnates sports personalities um and uh, celebrities uh, social media influencers and uh, right now i want to make us uh, a shout out you can say that if you want to be part of my podcast uh, you are most welcome to be a partner here by being a sponsor uh, and you will get lot of benefits so the next video i'm going to upload and uh, speak about the benefits of sponsors thank you so much for being part of the show i am billion dollar star get this book those who are getting this book you will get an opportunity to f- be part of my podcast and i'll interview you how did you feel reading the book so contact me i'll uh, send you the email here and you can write to me thank you so much This is Christina Sekia signing off for now.